Hey, how you doing out there? It's your boy from Brooklyn, Shannon and Bros Hill. Just saying, you guys ready to build and fix something? Well, today on Building and Fixing, I'm gonna be doing my very first unboxing. I'm gonna be going from this to hopefully this. Let's see what the difference is between something that's battery powered and something that takes fuel or gas. Let's see which one's better. Let's see if it's worth it to go with the cordless. All right, everybody, let's get inside this box and see what they gave us. All right, let's just get out the trusty razor blade. Okay. And, and you know how to, how to take all this off, right? I don't want none of you crazy people showing up at my house. I had to take off my address and everything, all right? Don't be showing up over here and then tell me, hey, let's see how this works and let's do this together. I'm like, no, 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 that's why I'm making the video. You guys watch this, I'll take this out and we'll see what's inside here. All right. Okay, a lot of bubble wrap. I know this, you got the kids at home, give them this, this keeps them busy for like two, three hours. You know, something like that. Just give them the bubble wrap. They'll find something to do with it. Everybody but likes to make that noise. All right, so this, I could tell you right away, this is the, uh, the leaf blower part. This is the, the, big, the big boy. That's the blower motor. Let's see what else is in there. You know, <laughs> everybody's worried about recycle and all this other stuff. There's enough cardboard here to box up, I think, a bunch more of these things. So, you know, recycle? Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. I don't think anybody's that conscious about it. Let's see what else we got in here. Okay, this is the actual trimmer part. Okay, and they, they always come like this. It's easy for, for storage too, and then also they make it so that you could put it, you know, snap these two pieces together, and it's good for uh, easy storage. I like that. I like that. Let's see what else we got in here. Again, more cardboard, more cardboard, and more cardboard. What's in here? Let's see, more cardboard. Ah, they give you a battery, which is good. A lot of times now, and the charger. That's one of the reasons why I went with the DeWalt system, because I already have all these batteries here. As you can see, this will just make for easy charging, easy storage. It goes with the rest of the stuff. I don't need another charger, but always good to have an extra one. If you're gonna take this somewhere with you, it's always good to have an extra charger. You can take, the, take this charger with you and then leave the other one over here on a permanent uh, in my storage thing there. Again, more cardboard, unnecessary. Battery, let's see, comes with the indicator. It's barely got a charge on it, barely. It's got one, one light on there. Let me get the rest of the unboxing. Okay, here we go. More, more garbage. This here is the tube for this piece right here. The easy assembly, right? You can see that has this little notch over here, right here. And I can tell you, look, there's a notch in this thing. The, no, come on, it's done. That's it. What else you gotta do? You gotta maybe twist it, tighten it, I don't know. It's done, that's it. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, weed trimmer guard. Oh, and the screws, don't lose them. They always give you these screws and they always get lost. Don't lose the screws. All right, what else we got? Okay, handle, oh, and the tool. They give you one of these. I'm sure there's a couple of things to tighten down. So they give you that Allen key with it. This is the handle. You know, when you hold the weed trimmer, that's the, the handle. Again, the Allen key they give you. I don't know why Allen had so many keys, but there always seems to be a bunch of these around. But here's the handle for it. And I think that's it, right? More bubble wrap. Again, give this to your kids. It keeps them busy while you're working, right? More cardboard and more cardboard. All this. You gonna build a clubhouse? You got enough cardboard for it now. This is done. That's the leaf blower part of this thing. And it's done. 
And it's great because I have all these batteries from my other DeWalt tools. So we're gonna test this real quick. Battery goes in, it's that simple. No, come on. Right? You, can, you gotta get your hair done real quick. This will work. Right there, you see? You get the, you get the Wolverine. This didn't come with any kind of strap or anything to put around your shoulder or, or you know, and you, don't, you can't strap this one to your back, but it would have been nice if this came with a shoulder strap of some kind. And I don't see a way to actually add one, but you know me, I'll find a way. I'll get something rigged onto here so that I can, you know, put this on my shoulder so I don't have to hold it the whole time. You know, it would be nice if I could just have it on a strap over here and then, you know, as you can see, look, when I use the, the it, see how it takes the camera out of focus? Because it moves the camera, that's how powerful this is. A good piece so far. It comes one piece, but two pieces, if you understand. It comes one piece, but two pieces. If you, I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, you just, I mean, it's really crazy simple. You push these in, it has this little nub right here. That's how you know it's in the right direction. So you squeeze this piece in, slide that in, it snaps into place and Bob's your uncle. Now it takes a couple of Allen keys to tighten this down because as you can see, right, it's a little, it's a little, let me hold on, let me get in frame. It's a little flip floppy over here. So we're gonna have to tighten these down. They give you this and this will work, right? This will work. This will tighten it down. But it's an Allen key. We find the Allen key equivalent with for the, the driver bit. That looks about right. Right there, it's good to go. Find the trusty bit that matches that Allen key over there. Put it inside the impact driver and let's tighten this down. They show the handle all the way up here. Uh, uh, right over here somewhere. But me, I have long arms, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna move this handle down a little further because it'll be uncomfortable for me to work and clean the yard when this handle's all the way up here. That's just too, too short. My reach is much longer than that. That's in the box in this. My reach is pretty far, you know? So be aware of that. <laughs> Don't put the screws in backwards. Turn the, the driver in the right direction. Tighten down the, the screws. Now, quick rule of thumb. Remember, this is plastic. Both pieces, the top and bottom are plastic. Screws are metal. You can strip these pretty easily. So, don't overdrive them. Like, don't sink them down really hard where you, you know, where you strip the screw in the plastic because then, then you gotta find a wider screw. It's, it's, it's a pain. So don't do that. And we don't want to over tighten these things. Like I said, they will get stripped and then, but that's it. I mean, it's just the handle. It's, you know, just to keep the thing steady. So when you're, you know, doing your yard work, it, it, it's easy to work with. I, I like that. That's working so far. The last thing we have left to do is we're going to put this thing on. Again, I put the screw, I chucked the screw already inside the uh, impact gun. And this is also the same as the handle. It's plastic on both sides, even where the screw goes in, okay? They're not machine thread, they are coarse thread screws that are meant to bite inside the plastic. So don't over tighten them because you'll strip them, okay? And the second one. That easy, that simple, no worries. And Bob's your uncle, you're diggity done. This whole thing is exactly together, ready to be used. Now, let's get into the reason as to why, okay? It's not for the free Allen keys, I'll tell you that much, DeWalt. You guys, it's just ridiculous with this thing. Here's my, here's the old one, okay? The old one looks like this. 
It takes gas, it takes a spark plug, it takes, it has a, a pull motor on it. it, it takes a special kind of fuel mixture that you have to have, it, it has uh, electrical, it has mechanical, it has all those things like a car, like basically like a car would be. So when the seasons start to change, okay, and you have to put this thing away for the winter time, there's too much maintenance to do before it goes away for the winter. You know, because where I live, there's seasons. And then there's too many things to do when I take it out to use it for the first time for the season, okay? I have to start it. I have to make sure it's running properly. I have to do all those things. I got to prep the motor. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to connect the pieces back together. This thing was great in its time when I was using it, when I first got it. But now, after the last couple of uses over the last couple of seasons, nah, it's, just, it's just a pain. It's just a pain to have, a pain to uh, deal with. Too much maintenance is involved. And with this one now that everything's battery operated, I don't have to worry about that. I can take one of the charge batteries that I have right up there, put it into this thing and I'm good to go. Now, the leaf blower is its own piece. And same thing, it takes one of the batteries that I have already. I don't have to worry about putting fuel in this thing. I don't have to drain the fuel when the season ends and then put more fuel in it when the season begins. And you know what the best thing about this is? It's battery powered and when I'm ready to go out. I could do my hair at the same time. You mess my hair up now? See that I got the crazy official Eddie Munster going on? And here's another feature, okay? light. The only thing I got left to do, get a battery in this bad boy. You see, I could take the battery out of this, pop this, right? 20 volt, old 20 volt system from DeWalt. Let's check it. You see it? It works. Another great reason to buy something that has a battery system. Wicked smart. But I can take my batteries that I have already and put them inside the weed trimmer and any other garden tool that DeWalt is making now with this battery system. There's a button here. Oh, how cool is that, okay? This button on this side right here, you can pull the trigger, press this back, and it'll hold the trigger for you so you don't have to keep your hand compressed on the handle. That's another, maybe that's why they didn't make the strap over there because you can have, you can depress the trigger with this button right here. Who knows? Let's go in the yard, check it out, see if it's good, see if it's not good. And if it's not, at least, you know, when I'm ready to go out and I get dressed up, I got a really cool hair blower right there. <laughs> I'm not paid by the wall. They did not sponsor this video. This is my opinion about what these cordless tools or cordless yard tools can do or can't do. I don't have, I'm not fact checking. I'm not gonna tell you what the velocity is on this thing. I'm gonna let you know. Does it blow the leaves out of the way? It's good to go. Does this trim the grass and the weeds like it's supposed to? Then it's good to go. How long will it last? I'm not sure, but if it can, on a battery's charge, if I can get my whole yard done with one battery in there, whether it's, let me see what I, well, this one has a small amp battery in it. Let me take it out. This comes with a four amp, 20 volt battery. I don't know what the hour rating is on this. I'd have to check the battery rating, but I put a four amp battery inside the leaf blower and I'm putting a four amp battery inside the uh, trimmer, okay? And if I can get my yard done, Front, front small and the back is you know kind of big. If I can get those two areas done and a little bit on the side of the house with one battery, come on, that's a win-win right there, okay? And this isn't sponsored. So like I said before, they didn't send me this stuff. I bought it with my own dollars and we're gonna see if it's worth it. I'm gonna see if it's worth getting rid of the one that I had that has the fuel, the gas, all the maintenance, all the nonsense that's, nonsense that's involved with having that type, and let's see if the battery powered one holds up. All right? So we're outside now, and let's check out to see how this leaf blower works. I'm on my patio, and as you can see, there's a lot of disturbance going on here. So I wanna get rid of all this. Let's see how good this works.
So now let's try the weed trimmer. We're gonna trim the grass along the fence, along the wall over here. And like I said, as long as this can do the yard in the back and the small in the front, a little bit on the side, this thing did exactly what it was supposed to do. And it's half the weight and I like it. So let's get to trimming the weeds. For the most part, this thing is doing exactly what it's supposed to do. Kudos DeWalt for not making me have to get too many new batteries. All right, I gotta finish up. You guys go do the same. I don't know, when I'm done, we'll do like a little talk. All right, let me get back to work. Well, I got finished with the yard. Trimming and using the leaf blower. Here's my honest opinion, okay? It works. It does what it's supposed to do based on the battery power it has. One issue I have, so I put in the four amp battery, okay? I did the entire backyard, trimmed everything everywhere. Then I went into the front yard and I did three quarters of it. Battery went dead. So I had to switch batteries. So I got approximately 20, 25, 20 minutes, 25 minutes out of it total. And that was it on the weed trimmer. On the leaf blower, no, the battery's still working. So the four amp battery on this one, on the leaf blower, seems to last a little bit longer. I think it may have the fact that you, you don't, probably don't use it as much and as long as the trimmer. The trimmer, you have to have it engaged at all times in order for you to keep doing what you're doing. And we know, the more you run these batteries, the quicker they will, you know, dissipate. The quicker the battery will run dead. So that's the other factor. Like I said, next time I do it, I'm gonna change the amperage on the batteries to see if it lasts longer. We'll see, I mean, I don't know. I like the fact that this is just the weed trimmer and this is just the leaf blower. And that's, you know, that's the long and short of it. We're gonna tell Alan to come by. He's gotta pick up his keys. I'm gonna get tired of storing all his keys. And as far as I'm concerned, this DeWalt 20 volt weed trimmer and leaf blower kit was worth the money. I'll put a link down below. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down there, you know? Ask me anything you want. Uh, don't ask me my address. You can't come over unless I invite you, okay? But that's it. It's your boy from Brooklyn, Shannon Ambrosio. Remember, we're building and fixing things around here, and we do reviews sometimes. I'm going to have a lot more stuff. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And in case you don't know, I'm on all those social media things, the Instagrams, the Facebooks, the TikToks, the Twitters, all those things. Follow me on my social media. But uh, that's about it. I got to go, all right? Throw a thumbs up if you liked it, okay? That's it.